We are doing, um, we just had a board meeting uh, a few weeks ago, and uh, so this, this issue is very clear in my, my head. I think we're very interested in a, a number of things. So we're definitely interested in exchanges, and that continues to be one of our areas where we see the opportunity to really drive value in competition among plans in the way that we've talked about. We're also really interested in the delivery system reforms that are happening. We're um, great proponents of the patient Center medical home, and we've seen our own program just really grow. Uh, it's beginning to really deliver great results in terms of reduced emergency room use, reduced hospital use, and better quality. We're very excited to see um, some initiatives that build on the patient Center medical home. So we're doing some work on something called the specialty practice recognition that would recognize um, specialists that do a good job of coordinating care with patients on our medical homes. So I think that'll be a really interesting program to watch. Also the uh, Accountable Care Organization program. I think that has a lot of potential and if it really begins to deliver on the promise, um, that will be a, a great opportunity. There's some big state initiatives around ACOs, particularly in Massachusetts, that I think would be very interesting. Um, so I think the delivery system, and then these partnerships between health plans and the delivery system, I think, are very exciting, where you see health plans actually um, giving the data to support the, the changes at the delivery system level around quality and cost, I think, are really exciting. So we've, we've um, the um, ACP, which is the American College of Physicians, came up with this idea called um, the Physician Center Medical Home, Home Neighborhood. And what it would do is, it's not to say that you as an oncologist are an excellent oncologist. What it would do is say that you as an oncologist do an excellent job of sharing information about the, your patient with the primary care doctor that you work with. And so it, I think it, it has the uh, potential to really start creating some incentives around specialists. There's a lot of evidence that there's um, a real breakdown in communication between um, often doctors, um, the information, so a, a primary care doctor will make a referral to a specialist and then um, the patient will go see the specialist and the information just doesn't come back. And sometimes the information doesn't go along with the patient in the beginning. So I think what it's really trying to do is um, improve that, that communication, whether it, through the, whether it be through um, electronic means or um, you know, other kinds of uh, approaches to follow up. And so it stops short of being a whole ACO model where you've got you know, contractual relationships between um, you know, hospitals and, and physicians potentially. And it really is trying to be a building block where you go out from the, the primary care setting to include the specialists.